Hello, this is a new one for Unity and that I will show you how to control an animation using C Sharp. Here's the project from the previous part with an animator controller that plays an open animation of this model here in the scene. But now I don't want to use this animation as the default. I want to activate it by a script. So I create a new state, which is empty so that no animation is played when starting the game. So I have to define it as the new default state. I set the name to empty and then I right click and choose set as layer default. Okay, then I set the name of the open close date to open because I want to activate it for playing the open animation. And then I copy and paste it, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. And the name of this one I set to close. Because you can use it to play the close animation, when you set the speed to minus one so that it is played reversed. Right, now I add two triggers that I can call by the C Sharp script that we are going to write in a moment. And these triggers will activate the animations. So create an open and a close trigger. And then I have to add transitions to the open and close dates. First for the open. And the condition for this transition to be activated are set to the open trigger. And the same I do for the close state make a transition and set the condition to the close trigger. Okay, this is the setup for the animator controller. Now I go ahead and add a C Sharp script. Right click in this folder and choose create C Sharp script. And I set the name to open close, for example. Now double click it and my editor Visual Studio 2019 is opened. And now we can code the script. First, we need a variable for the animator controller, a private member of type animator, I call it M animator. And in the start method that is called when the game is started, I get the component of type animator and assign it to the mAnimator variable. Okay, now we have a reference to the animator controller that is assigned to the game object, and now we can use it to call the triggers. First I check if the animator controller is really attached, if it is not null, and then I prove if a certain key is pressed, for example the O key, and in this case I call the trigger TR open. Simple, right? And if the user presses a different key, for example the C key, I set the trigger TR close and the close animation is played. And that's it. Now I can start the game to test it. First you can see on the right side the empty state is played when the game is started. And then I press the O key to play the open animation and C to play the close animation. So you see that is no rocket science, it's very simple. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask and add these to the comments below. You can join me on my social media on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can buy me a coffee to support me, see the link in the description, be my patron or join as a channel member here on YouTube. So see you soon guys in the next one.